Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you are new, what's up? My name is Tasha. If you like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlog content, then make sure you subscribe. So today I have a summer makeup look. It's definitely about to start warming up. People are going on holidays, vacations, and some of us want a like, cute little beat sometimes. I mean, I'm personally, if it's too hot, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but um, for the days we wanna be glam, for the days we wanna take pictures or whatever the case, I'm gonna show you guys what I do for like a summer clean glam makeup look, okay? So that's what we're gonna get into. So let me moisturize my face because I really feel dry and I'm like feeling dry. Oh, come on, camera dry. So to moisturize, I'm gonna use this Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. I've really been liking to use this as like a day cream. Um, as much as it's hot outside and you might get hot or sweat a little bit, it's still important to moisturize your skin. Like your skin needs to be moisturized regardless of the weather, okay? So we're gonna start off with a little bit of this and it's a nice like, consistency i really do like it so i'm going to just apply that and i'm going to clip my hair out the way because it's just not going to be cute keep falling into my face i'm not just gonna you know moisturize the skin okay so now we're going to jump into primers primers are super important in the summertime because the aim of the game is to keep our makeup lasting along and just keep the coverage there. So if you don't prime, it's a crime girl because you're not giving the makeup a chance, a fair opportunity. So I'll be using two primers and they're both from Milk Makeup. This is literally my favorite primer of all time, my Milk Hydro Grip. And then I'll also be using the Mattifying Pore Clips in areas where I feel like I want less shine and just my makeup to look a bit more matte also while i'm priming i did forget to show you guys spf that i like to use this is the bondi sand face spf 50 plus i use this all the time i feel like if you've been on my channel for a while you guys know this is my go-to spf so i'm just gonna apply my spf So I'm mainly going to apply Hydro Grip around this area here and then I'm probably going to do the mattifying primer on my forehead, my chin around here and on my nose. So now I'm going to jump into complexion so of course when it's summertime and I want a light makeup look, I'm always going to go for a skin tint. And my favourite skin tint ever has to be my Fenty East Drop. I would always recommend if you want more coverage to go with the Glowish. But um, I'm going to stick with my Fenty East Drop. I have the shades 21 and 22. I'm in with 21. So I'm just going to do a line in each place. Eavesdrop to me is like second skin. You know, it looks like your skin, but it just has like a, it's almost like your skin with a filter in real life. So I'm just gonna buff this in nicely. Like it's just so light. It's like, so I'm gonna go on my forehead. So now I'm gonna go on to Can See La. So I still want a very good coverage under my eyes. As much as I'm still going for a lightweight makeup look, I still want that coverage, I still want to look flawless. So the concealer of choice today is this new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This concealer right here, you guys, surprised me. I have a review on this, it's literally amazing. I love the finish, I love the formula, everything about it, it does what it needs to do. I have the shade Salted Caramel, and I am just going to apply like I would, so I'm gonna go under my eyes here. Yeah. As you guys can see, it adds coverage, but it's just so skin-like. Like, it literally doesn't feel like you have much on your skin. It's such a natural finish. It still looks very soft. It doesn't look harsh, which I love. So we go onto the forehead. Put that in. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I mean, you could skip this step, but I personally... 
I always contour my nose. Even if I'm doing a light makeup look, I always contour my nose. I just feel like I like the way I definition to my face. Like when I bronze and I do my contour, I just feel like it just, it just, it just makes my makeup look how I like it. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Now it's time to cream bronze but i am going to add a little bit of my lighter concealer just for added brightness honestly guys this huda concealer is so lightweight i feel like i didn't add any concealer to my skin like, of course you guys can see it but i don't feel like i have product on it that's the key to like makeup in the summer you want to feel like you have nothing on you don't want to feel like caked up because then it feels like you have a lot on your face and you just want to take it off you know so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this just for color honestly not really for coverage, I don't need much more. I'm telling you that e.l.f. and her dark combo gonna do it for you every time use a my cream bronzer duo so i use my toffee teas by fenty and then my kvd foundation this is just to bronze up the skin and you know not make us look too bright like how we're looking now so i'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush i believe this is from real techniques i have this brush for absolute yonkers i'm gonna go around like this we don't really need too much just enough and now we're going to blend this out and come alive because i honestly feel like once i clean bronze that's it you know the makeup starts coming together so i'm just gonna blend this in and honestly are we seeing are we seeing are we seeing are we seeing okay 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 <laughs> after this it's just all about setting everything but do you see this i feel like when it comes to building like the best like summer makeup routine it's products are so so important because you need to find products that feel comfortable on your skin and feel breathable the most important thing is that you feel light like your makeup feels light and your skin it can breathe through your makeup that's the most important thing to me so that's basically me blended out let me just go through a little bit more and make sure everything's packed it in so let's get on to setting it because we need to set it and forget it so to set my makeup today i'm actually gonna mix these two if i had to choose one i would go with huda because huda huda is gonna hold you down do everything okay huda's gonna hold you down but i'm just mixing a little bit of laura mercier because i want the color to be a little bit more neutral and just to like really make it smooth um but honestly either or i'm just mixing the two I feel like baking is just, I don't want products to sit on my skin. I want everything to look very seamless. So I feel like pushing the powder into the concealer really holds the concealer in. It almost like marries the concealer and the powder to make it like one product. I feel like when you put bake, when you start to bake and you put powder on top of the concealer, it kind of, even when you like blend it in, it does kind of sit on top slightly. I mean, with good technique, it's gonna look super pretty. But I feel like pressing your powder in with a brush is gonna give you the most seamless, flawless look. I'm just gonna pack this in. Make sure you're grabbing enough and just setting it in. You know, like under here. You don't want any creasing. At this point, we're just gonna bronze, blush, do all that extra little, you know, final touches and we'll be done. But this part is the most important to me. Like once my under eyes look flawless like this and my powder set in, I should be good to go, you know? 
So for bronzer today, I'm actually going to use my Makeup Revolution. And I've already hit pan. Can you guys believe it? And this is in the shade Dark. It's just like the best thing invented so now we're gonna go on to some blush blush is literally my favorite thing to do in summer because you can go in like you can go in for something really bright and fun and i love it but i've got three brushes three brushes three blushes that i actually really like the made by mitchell combo that i love um where's the spf cherry cola and also my cream blushes and i've been loving this elf um, blush in Fiji but I want something bright and punchy okay so we're gonna go with Maybe I'm Mitchell because if anything the coverage gonna be there okay so usually I apply these directly to my face but sometimes I think when I apply them when I blend them out it's just like I don't know sometimes it leaves a bit of a mark which I don't really like and I have to be careful so I'm gonna try and blend it on the back of my hand and see if I get any difference so where's SPF it's like a really bright like red really really bright red and then we have cherry cola which is like a nice like muted pink like that so i'm gonna blend these together i don't really know what brush to use maybe i'll use this yeah because i want something kind of big but like you know so i guess i'm just gonna kind of blend it on the back of my hand feel like an artist does it apply the same oh no oh yeah it does it definitely does i love a lot of blush so this might be a lot of blush for you guys but i love me some blush so i'm just gonna apply like that i actually do like applying it this way i feel like it blends better so i'm just gonna Apply it, take some more off, go in, go in my sponge and just blend that in, make sure there's no harsh lines. At this point, it's just my lip gloss and maybe some lower lash line mascara. So yeah, I'm gonna do those a little bit and I'll be back. And now I'm going to set the face, which is super important because we want our makeup to last long. I use two setting sprays. So the first one we use is my Morphe Consumer Setting Mist. This is just going to kind of just give my face a refresh, if you get what I mean. And then I'm actually going to set it with this Revolution Pro, Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. This really holds my makeup really, really well. Another alternative that I love to use is my Charlotte Tilbury. But I have yet to repurchase that. So these two have been have been my go-to's to like really hold my makeup. And while that's setting, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty powder and go around my mouth. Just because all I put there was Fenty eavesdrop and then I just need to set that to make it last longer, you know, as far as coverage, because in the summertime, I'm prone to go for drinks okay i love me a good little drink a little alcoholic beverage you know so i'm gonna make sure around our mouth lasts long <clears throat> and this smell this it smells quite strong because obviously it has products in it that's gonna hold the makeup okay so that's why so i'm gonna let that kind of dry down okay guys so my camera turn off actually my battery so all i've done since i set my face i put a little powder on my forehead and around my mouth i use my um laura mercier literally just a tiny bit just to mattify that area those are two of my more like problem areas that they tend to get oily or tend to get a little bit shiny the most um the quickest throughout the day so i always kind of reinforce with powder just to kind of keep that at bay as long as possible so yeah let's get on to the lips so i'm going to be using my trendsetter lip liner by morphe i feel like morphe have the best lip liners and most affordable ones so yeah i'm using trendsetter and then i'm also going to go with my moody peach even though i kind of want to go for milk and honey 
Uh, my favourite lip line is actually Richie, but I need a new one, so. I am literally rationing that one because I feel like it's sold out all the time on Morphe. So yeah, and just. It's cute, it's pretty shit anyway. It smells so good, this lip gloss, honestly. Do we like it? I just, I don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan of like pink. I think I have to go in with milk and honey because I'm not a big fan of pink. I'm gonna go in with milk and, and honey. Just neutralize it a bit because I feel like it's looking a bit too pink. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like, it looks so good. I love it. Definitely would recommend this Huda concealer. You guys know I'm a concealer girl. I'm a concealer queen. Like, even when I'm doing light makeup, like, my under eyes have to look flawless. They have to. And this has been, like, one of my favourite purchases this year when it comes to makeup because with concealer, it's easy for it to get kind of heavy because you want a coverage. But with this, it's just, it's just everything. And also, I'm going to say primers are super, 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 super important. Like, you need this to hold down your face throughout the day. And then, of course, the setting spray. Definitely get you a setting spray that can hold your makeup. Charlotte Tilbury. I think e.l.f. have a good one. The green bottle one is pretty good. And then this one works for me. So, yeah, I guess I will wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up subscribe if you have not tap the notification so you guys know when i next upload and yeah i will see you guys in my next video as always Bye.